Hey guys, so this is my first ever makeup tutorial that I've done properly. First of all, disclaimer, you can tell that I'm just going off for what I can think of uh, in the video. If it's not great quality or whatever, this is the first time I've ever done a makeup tutorial that hasn't been like a jokey one or a I'm just getting ready for something kind of thing. Enjoy. It's this. It's kind of like a full Halloween-y inspired makeup look. I don't know. I'm not a beauty guru. I'm just showing you something that I came up with last night. Thought it was really cool. Showing it to the internet like you do. I just threw a hair at you. I'm so sorry. Let's get started. Wow. I'm just gonna shove my fringe out of the way because it's just gonna get in my face the entire time. So excuse the grossness of my hair. <laughs> so I'm gonna start off by priming the eyelids with this cover stick. You just use any other, any cover stick you can find. Or just use a random concealer. I'm just using this because I have it. So I'm just gonna put this all over the eyelid up to here. And then I'm just gonna blend that in. I'm just doing this so I can get a, um, an even skin tone across the entirety of my eye, pretty much, almost. But also gives it a nice base to put eyeshadow on, I think. In my eyes, anyway. <laughs> so to start off, I'm taking uh, MUA's Professional Eyeshadow Palette to Undress Me 2 and using Naked, just as a base colour the entire eye. I'm using Real Techniques base shadow brush which looks like this and I'm just gonna pop that on the entirety of the eyelid just to set the concealer. I just poked myself in the eye but you don't see. Haha <laughs> so I'm gonna take this Colorworks eyeshadow that I've had for ages and I'm just going to use this orangey, burnt orangey colour, um, kind of like a pumpkin colour, which makes sense because it's autumn. Um, this colour, just find a colour that looks kind of like it, I guess. And I'm going to take this flat brush by some brand that I don't know because it's rubbed off. Just going to grab a nice amount and shove that onto the eyelid. I'm only covering the eyelid itself, I'm not going higher than that. So, you got your base of orange done. Fantastic! And the next thing I'm taking is this accent brush, grabbing the this palette again and using Lavish, which is this colour. And I'm just going to put this from here, like, not all the way to the bottom, but almost, <laughs> like the second part of it. And I'm just going to drag that through the crease as well. I'm just dampening it on a makeup wipe just to give it a little bit more colour, <laughs> um, just to make the pigment stronger. I'm just dragging that through the eyelid, the uh, eye crease area thing. I'm not a professional, I don't know what I'm saying. Haha, <laughs> words. I'm just dragging that all the way across. I'm matching it up with this bit that I drew earlier. So it has a little bit more depth to it. If you can tell, I'm still kind of ill. I'm not ill, but my voice is croaky and I keep coughing loads. So excuse the fact that I sound quite hoarse and stuff. <laughs> And then taking the colour underneath it in this palette called Obsessed, I am again grabbing a lot of the colour on this brush. And then I'm doing a kind of almost a wing, but not of eyeshadow. Just up to where my eyebrow starts on the side. And I'm just joining that up to the rest of the eyeshadow. So it's got kind of a really defined point at the moment, but I'm probably gonna change that in a second. I 
Like so, I know that it's kind of different on both sides and I do have one eyebrow longer than the other. Also, this eye is more hooded than this one. So, <clears throat> I'm making do. Next, I'm just gonna take this Deluxe Crease Brush by Real Techniques and I'm gonna blend this all together. smudged it completely, I'm going to go back in with all the same eyeshadows again and repeating that step to make, make all the colours show more. So again, taking the orangey colour from the colour works, putting that over the eyelid, but not going over where I've done the brown, because that's already got un orange underneath, like that. Then again, grabbing the little accent brush, whatever that colour was, lavish colour. Popping that there, and then I'm going to start bringing it over a lot more onto the orange and across the crease again. So it looks like that. Grabbing a bit more of the darker brown, putting that underneath, and kind of adding it onto the crease again. So it looks more like that. I'm just going to take this angled eyeshadow brush, adding a little bit more of a dark pigment, and just kind of gently pushing that colour across to blend in with the rest of them. Now I'm going to start adding colours onto the bottom bit of it to make it all blend together. And to do this I am taking a thin liner brush and I'm taking the black colour in Corrupt, this colour, and I'm just gonna go on the bottom bit of my eyelash area, region, I don't know what it's called. I'm kind of dragging that up onto the top bit as well, where I did that wing looking thing. Like that, which looks kind of crazy, but we're gonna blend it out. I'm taking this brush again and just blending that line in. Just because I don't feel like the orange is showing up enough, I'm gonna take this palette, which is another Colour Works eyeshadow and all in browns and things. I'm gonna take this light colour thing there and I'm just gonna put this there on the eye not all the way to the that bit but almost across to it and then i'm just going to put the white color on the inner bit there And then once again, because the orange has now faded, because I've put other colours on top, I'm just going to add more of the orange onto the centre of the eyelid. Um, I'm just going to go in and refill in the brownies area.
Right, and taking this brush again and using these colours, these brown colours, I'm going to, where I did the black line, follow it along with a little bit more colour. Adding the lighter brown. On to eyeliner, because if you know me, eyeliner is like the biggest part of any look that I do. Uh, I'm taking B's gel eyeliner. I'm just gonna line the lid of this bit. I'm just going up the um, the line that I've already created and then I'm going to be filling it in again, like so. The reason I've decided to use a gel liner instead of a uh, liquid eyeliner for this look because that is normally my preference of eyeliner. I feel like if I used a liquid eyeliner as opposed to a gel eyeliner, it would take away the intensity of the eyeshadow. Next thing to do is curl your lashes and put on any preference of mascara. Um, The mascara that I'm going to be using is Extra Volume Black Mascara Showgirl is this, it's by Barry M. That's the end of the eye look. Yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm sorry if it's really long. I'm sorry if it's not informative. And I'm sorry if it's not good. This is just how I do my makeup. This is the first time I've ever filmed doing my makeup. So please don't be mean to me. I'm not a professional, so eh. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys on the flip side and I'll see you later. Bye. Yeah.